high flow nasal cannula really blows those O's up the nose. Welcome back to Cryptids. We're shifting gears and talking about respiratory failure, specifically hypoxemic respiratory failure. Things like pulmonary edema, pneumonia, atelectasis. There's several methods of ventilation that you can use, but one mode that's become popular, especially since the pandemic, has been high flow nasal cannula. High flow nasal cannula is a specialized device with large bore prongs that go into the nose and is designed to generate high flows of oxygen. We're talking 40 to 60 liters per minute, some devices even higher. There's two settings you can adjust. You can adjust the FI2, you can also adjust the flow rate, the amount of flow in liters per minute. Here are the three ways that high flow nasal cannula can help the patient in respiratory stress. First is the higher rates of flow, the higher the pressure to the nasopharynx that gets translated down to the alveoli. Some people think this results in a significant amount of positive end expiratory pressure or PEEP, but that's not the primary benefit. The high rates of flow also help to wash out CO2, making it easier for the patient to ventilate or to breathe, but that's not the major effect of high flow nasal cannula. The major effect of high flow nasal cannula, and ironically the one that often does not get discussed, is that it matches the patient's inspiratory flow demand. When you're chill, scrolling through your videos, your inspiratory flow rate is probably about 25 liters per minute. When you have a patient who comes in and respiratory stress, their inspiratory flow rate is higher on the order of 40 to 60 liters per minute. You need a device that can match that inspiratory flow rate. If you put a non-rebreather mask on, crank it up at the wall, you're probably only getting 30 liters per minute and that is well below the patient's inspiratory flow demand. That patient is asking for 50 liters of air and they're getting that non-rebreather, even though that's 100% FiO2, it's pulling in ambient air from the environment and diluting down the amount of oxygen they're receiving. When you have somebody on high flow nasal cannula, you're matching the inspiratory flow demand better than you are with the other devices. If a patient needs 100% FiO2, they can actually get that FiO2 without pulling in ambient air and diluting down that FiO2. There's a few other ways that people talk about the physiology of high flow, but those are the three major ways. And that's why